Thank you for a hundred subscribers. You guys are the best. Okay, now the video starts. Action. I decided to try out a new hairstyle today. Don't know if I pulled it off. This side looks good, but this side, we don't talk about that side. Hi, my name is Georgie and life hacks are dumb. If you've ever been on YouTube, you've probably encountered some form of life hacks. They are often convoluted, unnecessary, other long intelligent words that just mean bad, but they are also strangely addicting. Now, I know that making a video about life hacks is nothing new or original. However, I'm not just gonna be looking at these life hacks and calling them dumb. I'm going to try to use them to prepare for college. I know that it's late November and I'm a gap year student, so preparing for college isn't even within my field of vision right now, but better early than late. <laughs> so I scoured all of Troom Troom to find the best college hacks to make me the best, most prepared, and coolest person on my whole campus when I go to school next year. I'm sure these are gonna turn out really well. <laughs> so I found these hacks from a bunch of different videos. And also side note, because I had to research so many Troom Troom videos, my recommended page on YouTube is just terrible life hacks now. Yay. The first one that we have is for all the people who are in a dorm and they wash their hair, but you don't have a hair dryer. Maybe you can't use one. Maybe you just forgot one. Regardless, Troom Troom's got a solution. Is your hair wet, but the hair dryer is missing? You'll have to find a way out. Hmm, this laptop has nice ventilation. I just have to ask my friend to hold the laptop for me. Great, my hair is almost dry. Hold it for another half an hour and you are free to go. I'm realizing now that I have to get my hair wet for this hack. We'll, we'll just do part of it. I'm not, I'm not touching these with water. I have a spray bottle, helpfully labeled water only. I'm gonna wet part of my hair. Guess we're gonna, ah, why am I doing this? I'm already regretting this video. Okay, the bottom of my hair is now sufficiently wet. Now for the life hack. So I have to get my computer fans running and something that always seems to set off my computer fans is Final Cut Pro, which is what I use to edit my videos. I feel like my hair is gonna dry by the time I get my computer fans to start going. Okay, my computer fans are running now. I don't know if you can even tell. Did you hear that? I'm gonna put my hair on the fan. I could definitely feel it drying my hair. This totally works. It's definitely as strong as that video is making it look. What if we try the other side? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Well, I'm bored of this. My hair is still wet. It's a little drier, but only because it dried while I was trying to get my computer fans to start. I'm gonna give this hack a one out of 10 because it's stupid and I hate it. Next hack. <laughs> so anyone who's in college knows that ramen is a staple food. It's cheap and easy to make, perfect for college students. Uh, but what if you don't have a bowl? Trim Trim has you covered again. I have instant noodles, but I don't have any clean bowls. What do I do? My roommate is making salad. Perfect timing. That might come in handy. A big bell pepper would make a great substitute for a plate. I just need to add water and run away. So for this hack, you put ramen noodles in a pepper and you pour boiling water on it. it sounds like a great idea, but I'm gonna try it out just to see. <laughs> okay, ready for the next hack. We have We have our pepper, we have our nice marchan ramen, hashtag not spawn, and we have this kettle of boiling water. So he just kind of cuts the top off. There we go. And then just kind of pulls out the insides. All right, we gotta 
hollowed out pepper bowl. And then he just takes the ramen and he just kind of shoves it in there. You have to break it up if it's gonna fit in a pepper. College kids do this every single day. You can't even fit the whole thing in there. There's like so much left that doesn't fit in this stupid fucking pepper. Okay, guess that's all the ramen we're gonna put in there. So we're gonna take our boiling water and we're just gonna pour it over the noodles. And he filled it like all the way up to the top and then ran with it, which is not a good idea. I'm not gonna do that. Water is like spilling out of it because it's at an angle. How about you don't do that? Can you not? Now we just kind of let that sit, I guess. I'm stirring it and I'm just so worried I'm gonna poke a hole in it with a fork and then the water is just gonna come shooting out. To their credit, it's not not working. It is a vessel for boiling water. And if you put noodles in boiling water, they do get softer. He also didn't add any flavoring to his ramen, but I don't like plain ramen. So I'm going to add just a little bit of chicken flavoring. I think this might be ready to try. Let's go for it. I mean, it's just ramen. If anything, this is more inconvenient than just washing a bowl if all your bowls are dirty. I'm not one to waste perfectly good ramen, so I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> so in the last part of this hack, they said, I have noodles with a side for lunch instead of just noodles. Which essentially means once you eat the ramen, eat the pepper. So I guess I'm just gonna take a big old bite out of this pepper. Is this what it's like to be vegan? I mean, I like red pepper, but this is a lot. How much of this am I gonna eat? I would give this hack a six out of 10 because it did actually work. It just seems like a lot of hassle. You could just clean a bowl. It kind of looks like a crown. I am the queen of stupid life hacks. Bow down to me. I'm gonna put the rest of this in the compost. <laughs> next hack. So for this next hack, I'm not even sure what the problem is. It's in a hacks and pranks video, but it's not a prank. But if Troom Troom knows one thing about college kids, it's that they like to wear sweatpants. Well, there aren't any witnesses. Turn up the music. And here's my iconic performance. I'll put on pants without using my hands. You just have to move fast and in tune with the music. And don't forget to do your lunges. The pants are going up, up, up. I'm a master of competitive pants wearing. Are we ready to become the master of competitive pants wearing? I am. Okay, let's try this out. So we put the pants here. And then we just sort of dance, like a little bit of, this is like Fortnite dancing. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, this is actually working. So don't forget to do your lunges. I'm doing them. <laughs> I'm doing them true true. Okay. I think that's about as high as I'm gonna be able to get them up. I would give this hack, hmm, I'll give it a five. It was more fun than the pepper one. It's fun to just do a little jig, if that's what you can call that. I'm out of breath. Why am I out of breath? This is so not exercise. But I mean, it's not. there's not really a problem of I need to put on sweatpants and I don't have hands. Next hack. <laughs> Everyone wants to be cool, right? We all wanna be admired by our peers and deemed Cool. Well, if you're not cool, Troom Troom has provided a very helpful tip on how to make others think you're super fucking cool. June, I can't believe it. Did you see the last pic the Blue Eyed Girl posted? Whoa, that's Ariana Grande. How did she take a selfie with her? Next, I'll Photoshop myself into this celebrity's pic. Photoshop is a great invention. I don't even know what I would post without it. So for this one, we need a photo of my head and a photo of a celebrity with someone else. 
Okay, well, I've been unsuccessful in finding a picture of just someone with a celebrity. So I'm gonna take this picture, this famous picture, and what if we just said that I was there, you know? I'm gonna take this photo, and people have canceled Ellen, I guess, because there was a lot of misconduct and people being assholes on her staff and also her. Um, so we're gonna take her out of the picture. We're just gonna erase Ellen. Oops, there she goes. So now it's my turn. So I'm gonna take a picture of myself in photo booth. So it's gonna be great quality. Perfect. I look just like Ellen. So now we can take that picture, make it a lot smaller. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> and we're just gonna put me in there. <laughs> Behind Ellen. Perfect. Oh, this looks so good. This looks, oh my god, it's like I'm there. Wow. It's like I was in this photo. <laughs> the lighting's a little bit off, so I'll, I'll, I'll touch it up. Oh, I accidentally deleted part of Ellen. There we go. Good as new. <laughs> Don't examine it too closely. Color balance. Is that gonna do something? It's getting more and more realistic by the second. I'm bald, so I'm just gonna get some nice hair to add on the top. <laughs> Let's just put some hair. <laughs> Let's maybe make it a little bit yellower. <laughs> Cause it's Ellen and she's blonde. Okay, I think, I, th <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's the perfect photo. So I'm gonna, Save that and then just send it to my friend, see what she says. She said yes! I give this hack a 10 out of 10. Next hack. This hack is perfect for one very specific situation and it does not work at all, but I'm still gonna try it because I feel like I have to. Roll it. The classroom just got cleaned. Don't walk on the wet floor. But I'm not worried about it. It says don't walk on it. It didn't say anything about touching it. Cut cleaning gloves around the edge and make a cut inside. Fill it with synthetic stuffing. Turn it over and put a sneaker inside. Cut the glove. Hot glue the pieces of the glove around the sneaker. Read the sign. These are not feet. These are my bottom hands. So, just complete nonsense. Way too complicated. And they also look terrifying. So let's go. I have these shoes, which are covered in fluff and dust, but I don't really care. I'm not gonna glue anything to them because I actually wear these shoes, but I do have gloves. So it says to cut off the bottom. I don't know why, but we're gonna do as Trim Trim says because Trim Trim knows best. Trim Trim knows all. I don't have synthetic stuffing. I mean, I do. I honestly don't want to use it. <laughs> I'm gonna tape the gloves to the shoe. There we go, nice and secure. Let's do the other one. I don't know how to cover the rest of the shoe like they said, um, but I do have another pair of gloves. Maybe we just cut pieces of the glove. I can see so many college students trying this out. It's a great idea. Everyone should try it. That's shoe number one. <laughs> Done and dusted. I don't know why I'm even bothering to trim the excess. This is so stupid. That's the other one. Let's try these out. <laughs> there was a minor issue putting this one on, but we fixed it, gang. <laughs> I hope you can see how fucking ridiculous these look. Stompy, stompy, stomp. Stompy, stompy. How to confuse people on Wikifeet 101. No! I broke it! Alright, 
I'm done with these. I give this hack a negative two out of 10. No. The sun is setting, which means it's the end of the day. And that also means that we're drawing to a close with our life hacks here. We have one more, which deals with the ever present problem of how do you sneak food into class? Troom Troom has a lot of ideas on how to do this, but this one is a classic. Is it a glue stick? No, it's a cheese stick. We'll need a thick piece of hard cheese. Take a clear glue stick container, press it down to cut out a cheese cylinder. Repeat to fill the whole container with the cheese. So we're gonna try this. Now, I spent more time trying to empty this glue stick than I care to admit, and I didn't even get all of it out. It is much harder than you'd think to get all the glue out of a glue stick. There's still a little bit of glue in there if you can see it. I assume that Elmer's glue is non-toxic. I really hope it is. It says it's non-toxic. Doesn't mean that you should do this, but I'm still gonna do it. I don't have a brick of hard cheese, but I do have these little baby bells. They're delicious. Why not ruin them? Okay. There we go. Uh, there's cheese in there now. Try it again. Well, uh, mine didn't turn out as well. Let's try it. I'm twisting it, it's not moving. Bone apple tea. Mmm. Tastes like regret. Why is no more of the cheese coming up? It's just stuck in there now. It's a very anticlimactic way to end this. I give it a zero out of 10. It's stupid. I hate that I had to wash glue out of a glue stick and now I have a non-functioning glue stick filled with cheese. What a waste. Now I just have to throw this out. Alrighty then friends, that was the video. Me wasting several hours of my day on life hacks that I knew weren't going to work. Oh, God. Like this video, subscribe to me, leave a comment, whatever. My brain has just melted from doing all of this, so. I'm done for the day. <laughs> I'm clocking out. Thank you so much for watching and farewell to thee. Bye.